Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in our long running series on ultra affordable guitars. So I've got a whole playlist of a bunch of different styles of super affordable guitars. Feel free to check that out. But today we've got a thin line Telecaster style guitar to share with you guys. Let's take it for a spin. Now this is the Glary GTL semi hollow and obviously this is you know a t style guitar super lightweight it's got the f hole so we've got a semi hollow design and we're going to check this thing out in really great detail today now this is the second glary guitar i've featured on the channel the first one was kind of like their bare bones model this one is a little bit of an upcharge at 120 bucks so we're going to see what you get for that but you know just at first glance with this translucent red finish this is a really beautiful guitar so we're going to get into it and i always say on these you know ultra affordable guitars there's always good bad and ugly we're going to cover the whole thing but let's start by looking at like the basic features and specs on the glary gtl thin line. All right, so let's find out what this Glary is made of in terms of the woods used, in terms of the hardware, all that kind of stuff. So let's start up on the headstock. This is the Glary headstock shape with that Music Note logo. Now, of course, this doesn't look very high end. It's just kind of like a little stamp or, or sticker or something like that, but it gets the job done. Tuning machines are just unbranded, sealed tuning machines. They're all the same height, which means we do need two string trees to keep the strings, you know, down uh, in the nut. Uh, the nut itself is actually cut decently well on the shoulders. Um, it's just a cheap plastic nut, and in terms of, you know, how it's formed and stuff like that, um, decent, but you can tell it's just a cheap plastic nut, little adhesive on the top and that kind of stuff, which can be expected in this price range. Now, as for the neck on the fingerboard, we get actual rosewood. I know so many manufacturers are substituting in different woods uh, because of various restrictions, pow ferro, that kind of stuff. But to me, you know, pow ferro looks okay with certain finishes, but you know, ebony or rosewood is just so much nicer in my opinion. And in terms of the aesthetics of this guitar, you don't often see this kind of, uh, you know, crimson translucent red with a rosewood fingerboard. Somehow maple is just more common, but I really love this combination. Now on the back of the neck, you can see it is maple. So we've got maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, and the radius to me feels something like a 12 or a 14, a little bit more flat uh, than, you know, the equivalent fender. Now, as for the body, this is made of basswood and it is incredibly light. On the website, it's listed as 5.95 pounds. Not sure how they got so specific, but anyway, I threw this on the scale. This one came out at 5.7 pounds. That's incredibly light. So if you're looking for something that's not going to break your back, you know, something like this just fits the bill perfectly. It is a thin line design. Uh, if you're new to guitar, that doesn't mean it's, it's any thinner this way. It just means it's a semi hollow. So we've got the F hole here, which definitely helps, you know, with the weight. Now, as for the rest of the odds and ends, we've got six individual brass saddles. 120 bucks, we get individual brass saddles. That's fantastic. Ashtray style bridge, typical T style pickup in the bridge, humbucker in the neck, volume and tone, three way Telecaster switch. Right, so that's a brief overview of the GTL. Man, this thing is light, crazy. Anyway, we're gonna plug it in. I'm eager to see you know, what this humbucker sounds like. After we do the tones, I'm gonna go through with a more fine tooth comb and talk about the overall construction because that can be, you know, an area of concern when we're talking about, you know, guitars that are so affordable. So anyway, we'll start with the tones. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. All right, so let's kick things off with the neck humbucker. I've got a little overdrive dialed in. Let's see what this neck pickup is all about. <laughs> warm humbucker let's take that tone and dial that out let's see how warm this thing actually gets we'll play something similar here So yeah, that's a really, really warm humbucker. Let's try out that bridge there. Mm -hmm. 
So it doesn't seem particularly well balanced. That bridge is uh, pretty thin and bright. <laughs> And a little bit quieter too than the humbucker. Let's go to some clean here. Let's stay in the neck for now and just uh, yeah test out some of the just the basic clean tones of this guitar. So just some basic chords here. Cool. So yeah, overall that neck pickup, very, very warm, very robust. Let's check out some of the other positions. All right, now let's hop over to the bridge pickup and use that same light overdrive. See what it sounds like in the bridge. <laughs> So let's add a little more gain. So not as live as uh, the previous uh, glary that I did. There still is quite a bit of kind of noise that gets transmitted into that bridge pickup, but not quite as uh, microphonic as that first glary. So that's good to hear because I do have quite a bit of gain on it. I'm sure you guys can hear a little bit of that hum. So it is, you know, a, a single coil pickup, but overall, um, you know, a little bit better than that first glary and uh, can handle gain, you know, not terrible. <laughs> Now let's try out the middle position. We've got the humbucker and the bridge on at the same time. Now in comparison to just the neck. And the bridge. So it's actually quite a pleasing tone, um, kind of blends that, as I mentioned, that neck pickup is quite warm, that bridge pickup is quite brash, so kind of in the middle there, sounds quite good. All right, now that we've heard this guitar in action, let's talk about the overall construction. When it comes to guitars like this, these super affordable instruments, you're not gonna end up with a perfect guitar. That's the first thing to note. There's gonna be some areas where it's not perfect, but it's where you know the areas are that's important. If it's you know on the neck joint or something like that, or a twisted neck, um, it's gonna be a problem. But if it's just a few cosmetic things, 
you know, most people can deal with that. And if you want a perfect instrument, you're going to have to spend more than 120 bucks. So let's start up on the headstock. Now on that first GTL uh, demo that I did a few months ago, uh, the routing for the nut was a little wider than the nut itself. Well, here I'm happy to say the routing and the shape of the nut match up, you know, much nicer uh, than that other model. So that's the first thing to note. So that's really good here. Um, in terms of the neck itself, it's very nice and very playable. Love the satin feel. So it's very smooth. Um, and when we talk about the frets, um, it is, there's some grittiness for sure, but not, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Not as gritty as other guitars I've felt. So the, the frets, the faces of the frets aren't really polished, but not very gritty. So that's a thumbs up for me. And when we look at the fret ends, when we zoom way in, you can see there's a bunch of tooling marks on the frets. Again, the most important thing is that they don't stick out. So there's no fret sp sprout and they're not sharp. So again, that's a win. You're going to find, you know, tooling marks in this price range. There's not a bunch of guys, you know, willing to spend the time to polish up fret ends. So they're not sharp and you know they don't stick out so that's good uh, but there is tooling marks all right so now let's check out the neck joint you want a nice solid connection between the neck and the body so the resonance of the strings um, you know can be transferred through and get a nice sustaining guitar tone now when we look at this top edge of the neck pocket i'm happy to say that's a really nice tight joint nicer than i've seen on other guitars come through the studio that are worth a lot more than 120 bucks so that's impressive. That's great. Uh, when we talk about this joint here uh, from the neck and the block, there is a slight little lip there where the, the widths aren't exactly, you know, the same. But, you know, nothing too crazy, but you can feel it. Now, in terms of the rest of the guitar, it's all kind of down to cosmetics, which I think, as I mentioned, you can expect for, you know, any guitar in this price range. On the F hole here, it's not painted all the way through. So, you know, the top face is really nice and fresh and glossy and then when you look on the edge it's kind of like there's a little bit of tinting there but it's kind of uh, matte and there's no gloss on the finish and there is a little nick on the, the f hole edge again not something you'd see from even like a foot away uh, but it is there uh, the bridge looks great as i mentioned love the brass saddles six individual and they might not be the highest quality but to have it on some something like this is you know absolutely awesome love that uh, other cosmetics here on the edge, you can tell uh, something chipped off and then they quickly, you know, just kind of finished over it. They didn't, uh, you know, match the finish perfectly. So there's a little discoloration on this lower edge. And really other than that, I guess there's three, it's a three piece body. And on the top two pieces here, you can tell a little chunk came out or it wasn't sanded properly and they put some filler in. I don't know if that'll show up. Maybe I'll take a closer shot for you guys, but I uh, did notice there's a little filler just on that one little section. Again, they finished over it so you don't feel that, uh, but you can see it and it is a three piece body uh, with a separate piece for the top. So, um, you know, typical construction for like a thin line style guitar. And that's pretty much it. So the bones of the guitar are really good. And, you know, if you, if you wanted to polish your frets up or, or, you know, dress the nut a little bit, you could get this thing playing really nice. So the bones of the guitar are really good. A few cosmetic issues, but overall, really nice. So here are my final thoughts on the Glary GTL Semi Hollow. As I previously mentioned, love the aesthetics. The rosewood fingerboard with the translucent red and the brass saddles. It all just works for me. I think it looks really attractive. And of course, there's a bunch of other finishes, but in particular, I really loved the, the red and the rosewood. I think that's a great combination. Number two, love the weight. Not everybody wants to wrestle with a 10 pound guitar and having something under six pounds is absolutely phenomenal. So love that as well. Number three, love having a humbucker on this guitar. Nice option, really warm sounding. And of course, when you use gain, you don't get any of that 60 cycle hum. So that's fantastic. Now, in terms of weaknesses, I would say probably that bridge pickup. So I like the neck, but the bridge, as I mentioned in my other GTL review, uh, it's a little bit of a weak spot. It's a really noisy pickup. And, uh, you know, I know Glary probably has a bin of a thousand of these that they paid, you know, two bucks each for or something like that. But if you're going to use some gain, you might want to swap that out. Other than that, really the only weakness when it comes to like, budget guitars or affordable guitars is there can be inconsistencies between 
you know, models. I have a pretty nice um, representation of this guitar with only really a couple uh, cosmetic flaws. That's about it. And uh, so if you order one and you get one that's worse than this or better than this, you know, there can just be some inconsistencies in uh, the line in terms of quality control. Now I did look on Glary's website and they do have like a 30 day return policy. So there is a little bit of, uh, you know, protection for the consumer that way. So that's nice. But uh, other than that, yeah, this is just a beautiful solid guitar. And uh, yeah, in terms of like 120 bucks, absolute win. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I will link to this guitar in the video description below. All my stuff, t-shirts, tab store, gear I use, all that stuff is down there as well. Feel free to check that out. Other than that, have yourself a great day.